Welcome to the 2009 Mississippi Statewide Spelling Bee, sponsored by the Mississippi Association of Educators. Welcome to the 2009 Mississippi Spelling Bee. I'm Michael Rubenstein, Executive Director of the Mississippi Sports Hall of Fame and Museum, and I'm proud to say I'm your host and pronouncer for today's broadcast. Our bee features 31 winning spellers from county, district, homeschool associations, parochial, and private schools. Today's event would not be possible without the Mississippi Public Broadcasting and the Mississippi Association of Educators. Kevin Gilbert is president of the Mississippi Association of Educators. Good morning to our audience here and our audience watching their TV. We want to welcome you to the 2009 State Spelling Bee. And on behalf of the Mississippi Association of Educators, we are honored to be hosting this event. Good luck to our spellers. And before I begin, I would like to turn it over to Mr. Jay Woods, who is the Deputy Executive Director of Content for Mississippi Public Broadcasting. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, welcome to all of you, parents, teachers, and most importantly, our, our competitors today. Um, Mississippi Public Broadcasting is proud and honored to bring to you for the fifth consecutive year um, and to our audience uh, on television the, the live uh, televised version of the Mississippi State Spelling Bee. Uh, here at MPB, um, our, our core of what we do, our, our mission here is focused on education and we can think of no better way to underscore that commitment than bringing to you this Spelling Bee today. Uh, to our competitors, take a few deep breaths. I know I've had to, and good luck to you all. Thank you again. There are a few other people I would like to introduce before we begin. First of all, standing here to my left is our Executive Director of the Mississippi Association of Educators, Mr. Frank Yates. And now a special group of individuals who will be our judges. First, Ms. Beverly Brand, Associate Executive Director for the Mississippi Association of Educators. <laughs> Judge James E. Graves, Jr., Mississippi Supreme Court Justice. <laughs> Ms. Pam Cleveland, Circulation Sales Manager, Jackson Clarion Legend. Dr. Gwendolyn Dooley, Director of Special Academic Credit Programs, Distant Learning, Jackson State University. <laughs> and also joining us today is the 2008 Spelling, Mississippi Spelling Bee Champion, Ms. Shakika Everett of Wayne County. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Our spellers have already been given directions and rules for today's competition, but for the uh, information of our live audience and viewers, the spelling bee is conducted in rounds. Each speller remaining in the bee at the start of a round spells one word in each round. All words are entries in the Webster's Third New International Dictionary. I will be as clear as possible in pronunciation. Spellers have the right to ask for the word to be used in a sentence as a part of speech and the language of origin. Mississippi Spelling Bee officials will declare a champion when the last speller successfully completes the final round and correctly spells the anticipated championship word. Our judges uphold the rules and determine whether or not words are spelled correctly. They are in complete control of the competition and their decision is final on all questions. So, with that brief outline, let's begin the 2009 Mississippi State Spelling Bee. Aquatic. Aquatic. A Q U A T I C. Aquatic. Thank you. Discipline. Discipline. D I S C I P L I N E. Discipline. Thank you. Necessary. N-E-C 
E S S A R Y. Thank you. Cauliflower. Cauliflower. C A U L I F L O W E R. Cauliflower. Thank you. Imperative. Imperative. I M P E R A T I V E. Imperative. Thank you. Bevel. Bevel. B E V E L. Bevel. Thank you. <laughs> Graffiti. Graffiti. G R A F F I T I. Thank you. Your word is caucus, and there is a pronouncer's note that this word could be confused with another word similar in sound and or spelling. The word we're seeking is a noun defined as a conference of party or organization leaders to decide on policies, plans, appointees, and candidates. Caucus. Caucus. C-A-U-C-U-S. Caucus. Thank you. Begonia. Begonia. B E G O N A. Begonia. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pinafore. Pinafore. P I N A F O R E. Pinafore. Thank you. Adios. Adios. A D I O S. Adios. Thank you. Hominy. 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 H O M I N Y. Hominy. Thank you. Prosecute. Prosecute. P R O S. E C U T E. Prosecute. Thank you. Hurdle. This word is a homonym. The word we're seeking is a noun defined as an artificial barrier over which humans or horses leap in a race. Hurdle. Hurdle. H U R D L E. Hurdle. Thank you. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. G O R G E O U S. Gorgeous. Thank you. Spherical. Spherical. S P H E R I C A L. Spherical. Thank you. Moo moo is your word. It is a homonym. The word we're seeking is a noun defined as a loose dress worn chiefly in Hawaii, having bright colors and patterns and adapted from the dresses originally distributed by missionaries to the native women. Moo moo. Moo moo. M U M M U U M U U. I'm sorry. Cantata. Cantata. C A N T A T A. Cantata. Thank you. <coughs> Xylophone. Xylophone. X Y L O P H O N E. Xylophone. Thank you. Credentials. Credentials. C R E N D E L 
I'm sorry. Praline. 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 <laughs> Don't worry about it. Praline. Mm -hmm. P R A L I N E. Praline. Thank you. Diorama. Diorama. D I O R A M A. Diorama. Thank you. Tragic. Tragic. T R A G I C. Tragic. Thank you. Coyote. A coyote. C O Y O T E. Thank you. Renegade. Renegade. R E N E G A D E Renegade. Thank you. Persimmon. Definition, please. A medium sized tree of the southern and eastern United States with a hard, fine grained wood, oblong leaves, and bell shaped flowers followed by an orange, several-seeded berry that is edible when fully ripe, but usually extremely astringent when unripe. Persimmon. Persimmon. P-E-R-S-I-M-M-O-N. Persimmon. Yes, thank you. Lariat. Lariat. L-A-R-I-A-T. Lariat. Thank you. Croquet. Definition. Sure. A game in which players drive wooden balls with mallets through a series of wickets set out on a lawn in a particular order. Croquet. Croquet. C-R-O-Q-U-E-T. Croquet. Thank you. Hi. Your word is humble. There is a pronouncer's note that this word could be confused with another word similar in sound and or spelling. The word we're seeking is an adjective defined as not proud or haughty, humble. Humble. H-U-M-B-L-E. Humble. Thank you. Spritz. Spritz. S-P-R-I-T-C. Thank you. Parfait. Parfait. P A R F A I T. Parfait. Thank you. That concludes round one. We begin round two with the word catkin. Catkin. C A T K I N. Catkin. Thank you. Fresco. Fresco. F-R-E-S-C-O. Fresco. Thank you. Primal. Primal? Primal. P-R-I-M-A-L. Thank you. Hazard. Hazard. H A Z A R D. Hazard. Thank you. Toucan. Can you repeat the word? Toucan. Toucan. T O U C A N. Toucan. Thank you. Formidable. Formidable. F O R M I D A B L E. Formidable. Thank you. Curriculum. 
Could you use it um, in a sentence, please? Sure. Heather was delighted when she learned that her middle school will add Latin to its curriculum next year. Curriculum. C-U-R-R-I-C-U-L-U-M. Thank you. Paddock. Paddock. P-A-D-D-O-C-K. Paddock. Thank you. Fiend. Fiend. F-I-E-N-D. Fiend. Thank you. Dungaree. Dungaree. <coughs> D-U-N-G-A-R-E-E. -E. Dungaree. Thank you. Cabana. Cabana. Can you use it in a sentence? Sure. Sam and Doug will move the cabana closer to the swimming pool. Cabana. What is the definition? A tent-like, often portable shelter with a projecting canopy over an open side facing a beach or swimming pool. Cabana. What is the language of origin? Spanish from Latin to Spanish. Cabana. C-A-B-A-N-Y-A. -A cabana. I'm sorry. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Ductile is your word. This is a homonym. The word we're seeking is an adjective defined as capable of being permanently drawn out without breaking, specifically capable of being drawn out into wire or thread. Ductile. Ductile. D-U-C-T-I-L-E. Thank you. Ambulance. Ambulance. A M B U L A N C E. Ambulance. Thank you. Linseed. Can you use that in a sentence, please? Sure. The oil in linseed is healthful because it contains omega 3 fatty acids that help prevent blood clots. Linseed. Linseed. L I N. S E E D, linseed. Thank you. Conjecture. Conjecture. C O N J E C T U R E. Conjecture. Thank you. Gristle. Gristle. G R I S T L E, gristle. Thank you. Condor. Condor. C O N D O R. Condor. Thank you. Admiral. Admiral. A D M I R A L. Admiral. Thank you. Cobalt, and there is a pronouncer's note on this, that this word could be confused with another word similar in sound and or spelling. The word we're seeking is a noun defined as a hard magnetic silver white metallic element used to produce magnetic alloys and hard alloys resistant to abrasion, corrosion, and high temperatures. Cobalt. Can you use that in a sentence, please? Cobalt is essential as a trace element in animal and plant nutrition. Definition, please. I just gave it to you. Okay. Cobalt. C O L B O L T. Cobalt. I'm sorry. Jovial. Jovial. J O V I A L. Jovial. Thank you. Typhoon. T-Y-P-H-O-O-N, Typhoon. Thanks. Rupture. Rupture. R-U-P-T-U-R-E, Rupture. Thank you. Kind 
Cosmos. <clears throat> Sentence, please. Some philosophers use the word cosmos to mean the universe and all the consciousness in it. Cosmos. Definition. The universe conceived as an orderly and harmonious system. What's the origin? Greek. Cosmos. C O S M O S. Cosmos. Thank you. Aspen. May I have the definition? Sure. Any of several poplars, the leaves of which flutter in the lightest wind. Aspen. Aspen. A S P E N. Aspen. Thank you. Potash. Potash. P O T A S H. Potash. Thank you. Yieldable. Yieldable. Okay. May I have the definition? Of course. Capable of giving way under physical force so as to bend, stretch, or break. Yieldable. Will you please say the word again? Yieldable. Yieldable. Y I E L D A B L E. Yieldable. Thank you. Idiom. Idiom. I D I U M. Idiom. I'm sorry. Wiseacre. Wiseacre. W I S E A C R E. Wiseacre. Thank you. That concludes round two. We begin round three with pompous. And there is a pronouncer's note on this. It's a homonym. The word we're seeking is a noun, a plural noun, that's defined as extensive, generally grass-covered plains of temperate South America, east of the Andes, prairies. The word is pompous. Pompous. P-O-M-P-U-S. Pompous. I'm sorry. Virtuoso. Virtuoso. And there is a pronouncer's note on this that this word could be confused with another word similar in sound and or spelling. The word we're seeking is a noun that's defined as one who excels in the technique of an art, especially a musical performer. Virtuoso. Virtuoso. V I R T U O S O. Virtuoso. Thank you. Paradox. <clears throat> Paradox? Paradox. P A R A D O X. Thank you. Cadenza. Can you give it a definition? Sure. A parenthetic flourish in the course of an aria or other solo piece, commonly just before the final or other important chord sequence. Cadenza. Can you use it in a sentence? The clarinetist welcomed the cadenza as a chance to show off her virtuosity. Cadenza. Cadenza. K-A-D-E-N-Z-A. -E cadenza. I'm sorry. Enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. E N T H U S I A S M. Enthusiasm. Thank you. Teriyaki. Teriyaki. T E R I Y A K I. Teriyaki. Thank you. Macadamia. Macadamia. Could you use it in a sentence, please? Sure. Melanie sprinkled chopped macadamia on top of the banana cake. May I have the language of origin? Australian name that went into Latin. Macadamia. M-A-C-A-D-A-M-I-A. -A -A. Thank you. Pr 
prodigal, and there is a pronouncer's note that this word could be confused with another word similar in sound and or spelling. The word we're seeking is an adjective that's defined as given to reckless extravagance, unrestrained in spending or using up one's means. Prodigal. Could you have it in a sentence? Victor has written a memoir of his prodigal youth in Europe. Prodigal. P-R-O-T-A-G-A-L. I'm sorry. Omnipotent. Omnipotent. O-M-N-I-P-O-T-E-N-T. -E Omnipotent. Thank you. Vogue. Vogue. Language origin. As an Italian derived French word. V O G U E, Vogue. Thank you. Machismo. Machismo. M A C H I S M O. Machismo. Thank you. Providence. Providence. P R O V I D E N C E. Providence. Thank you. Autopsy. Autopsy. A U T O P S Y. Autopsy. Thank you. Concerto. Concerto. Um, can you use it in a sentence, please? A violin concerto by Vivaldi concluded the orchestra's program. Concerto. Definition, please. A virtuoso piece for solo instrument or voice and orchestra that usually has three contrasting movements. Can you say the word again? Concerto. C-O-N-C-H-U-R-D-O. -O. Concerto. I'm sorry. Regatta. Regatta. R-E-G-A-T-T-A. -T -T -A, regatta. Thanks. Ominous. Ominous. Please use it in a sentence. For an instant, there was an ominous stillness, quieter and more silent than ever before, as if even the air was holding its breath. Ominous. Ominous. O M. I N O U S ominous. Thank you. Taj. Can you repeat the word? Taj. T A J Taj. Thank you. Allegory. Allegory. A L A G O R Y allegory. I'm sorry. Geisha. G E I S H A. Thanks. Misanthropy. Misanthropy. You have to repeat the word. Sure. Misanthropy. Misanthropy. Yum. Yum. I is. A M P R T H Y. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> Prosaic. Repeat the word, please. Prosaic. Definition. Belonging to or characteristic of language intended primarily to give information, relate events, or communicate ideas or opinions as distinguished from the language of poetry. Prosaic. Prosaic. P-R-O-S-A-I-C. Prosaic. Thanks.
Maestro. Will you please repeat the word? Maestro. Can I have the definition? Sure. One who is accomplished in a specialized field, especially a master or teacher of an art as music. Maestro. Maestro. M-A-E-S-T-R-O. Maestro. Thank you. Angst. Angst. A-N-G-S-T. Angst. Thank you. Plausible. May I have the definition? Superficially worthy of belief. Credible. Plausible. Plausible. P-L-A-U-S-I-B-L-E. Plausible. Thank you. Origami. Origami. O R A G A M I. Origami. I'm sorry. This begins round four, is it not? With the word mongrel. Mongrel. M O N G R E L. Mongrel. Thank you. Trajectory. <clears throat> Trajectory. T R A J E C T O R Y. Thank you. Sayonara. Sayonara. S A Y O N A R A. Sayonara. Participant. Participant. P-A-R-T-I-C-I-P-A-N-T. Participant. Thank you. Elixir. Elixir. E-L-I-X-I-R. Thank you. Arsenal. Arsenal. A R S E N A L, Arsenal. Thank you. Piccolo. Piccolo. P I C C H O L O, Piccolo. I'm sorry. Incredulous. Incredulous. I N C R E. D U L O U S. Thank you. Sukiyaki. Sukiyaki. S U K I Y A K I. Sukiyaki. Thank you. Homogeneous, and there is a pronouncer's note on this, that this word could be confused with a variant of the word that is pronounced differently. The word we're seeking is an adjective that is defined as of a similar kind or nature. Homogeneous. Can you use it in a sentence? The corporation owns several homogeneous stores. This is the language of origin. Greek. H-O-M-O-G-E-N. E O U S, homogeneous. Thank you. Sedilla. Sedilla. May I have the definition, please? A mark placed under a letter to indicate a sound different from that which the unmodified character bears in certain or all situations. Sedilla. Sedilla. C E D I L L A. Sedilla. Thank you. Foliate, and there is a pronouncer's a note here. The word is a homonym. The word we're seeking is an adjective that is defined as shaped like a leaf. Foliate. Can you use it in a sentence? The chairs in the dining room had foliate designs carved on their legs. Foliate. F-O-L-I-E-T. Foliate. I'm sorry. Libretto. 
libretto. Can I have the definition? The book containing the text of a work as an opera for the musical theater. Libretto. Libretto. L-A-B-R-E-T-T-A. -T -T Libretto. I'm sorry. Kitch. K-I-T-C-H. I'm sorry. Obsequious. Repeat the word, please. Obsequious. What's the origin? Latin to English. Definition. Meanly or servilely attentive, compliant to excess. Obsequious. O B S E Q U I O U S. Obsequious. Thank you. Succotash. Succotash. Can I have the definition? Sure. A mixture of lima beans or shell beans and kernels of young corn cooked together. Succotash. Can I have the sentence? Lena enticed her children to eat succotash by topping it with melted cheese. Language of origin. Algon Algonquin. Succotash. S U C C A T A S H. Succotash. I'm sorry. Meticulous. 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 M E T I C U L O U S. Meticulous. Thank you. Vigilante. May I have the definition? A member of a volunteer committee organized to suppress and punish crime summarily as when the process of law appear inadequate. Vigilante. Vigilante. V. I G I L A N T E Vigilante. Thank you. And this I believe would be round five. The beginning of round five. Amarillo. 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 A M A R I L L O Amarillo. Thank you. Howitzer. <coughs> Howitzer? Howitzer. Language of origin? Czech to German to Dutch. Howitzer? Howitzer. H. A U I T Z E R. I'm sorry. Implement. Can you put the word? Implement. Implement. I M P L E M E N T. Implement. Thank you. Struzel. 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 S T R E U S E L Struzel. Thank you. Enchilada. Enchilada. May I have the um, language of origin? Spanish. Um, could you use it in a sentence, please? Sure. The sampler platter included a taco, an enchilada, and a burrito. Enchilada. E N C H I L A D A. Clumpen. Clumpen. Clumpen or Clumpen? Clumpen. May I have a definition? Sure. Wooden shoes worn in the Netherlands, Belgium, and Luxembourg. May I have language of origin? Dutch. Clumpen. C L O M P E N. Clumpen. I'm sorry. <laughs> Babushka. Babushka, B A B U S H K A. Thank you.
Alliteration. Uh, can, you, can you repeat the word, please? Alliteration. Um, okay, can you have the definition? The repetition, usually initially, of a sound that is usually a consonant in two or more neighboring words or syllables as threatening throngs. Alliteration. Alliteration. I L L I T E R A T I O N. Alliteration. I'm sorry. Castanets. Castanets. What's the language of origin? From Latin to Spanish. Definition. A rhythm instrument used especially by dancers that consist of two small shells of ivory, wood, or plastic, which are fastened together to hang from the thumb and are clicked together by the other fingers. Castanets. Castanets. C A S T. A N E T S, castanets. Thank you. Moly, and uh, this word is a homonym. The word we're seeking is a noun that is defined as a highly spiced sauce made principally of chili and chocolate, but containing numerous other ingredients and served with meat as beef or turkey. Moly. Moly. May I have the language of origin? From uh, an Indian dialect to American Spanish. Moly. M O L E. Moly. Thank you. Savruga. Savruga. Read the word, please. Savruga. Definition. A light to dark gray caviar from a sturgeon of a genus found in the Caspian Sea that has very small row. What's the origin? Russian. Sinets. Savruga has the strongest flavor of all sturgeon eggs. Mm. S U F R U G G A. I'm sorry. Ampere. Ampere. A M P E R E. Ampere. Thank you. Colloquial. May Colloquial. I the, may I have the definition? Of or relating to conversation. Colloquial? Colloquial. <laughs> okay. Colloquial. C O L O Q U I A L. Colloquial. I'm sorry. And this begins round six with the word barrio. Barrio. B A R I O. Barrio. I'm sorry. <coughs> Spin it. Spin it. S P I N E T. Spin it. Thank you. Neologism. 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 N E O L O G I S M. Neologism. Thanks. Pentathlon. Pentathlon? Um, uh, language of origin? Greek. <laughs> Could you use it in a sentence, please? Sure. Mike is practicing four hours a day for the upcoming pentathlon. Um, what's the definition? A contest in the modern Olympic Games involving participation by each contestant in horseback riding, shooting, fencing, swimming, and running. Pentathlon. P-E-N-T-A-T-H-L-O-N. Thank you. Synchronous. Synchronous. S-Y-N-C-R-O-N-O-U-S. I'm sorry. Dressage. Dressage. Language of origin. French. Definition, please. The execution by a horse of maneuvers involving changes of gait, 
pace and airs in response to barely perceptible movements of a rider's hands, legs, and weight. Dressage. Dressage. D-R-E-S-S-A-G-E. -S -S -E. Dressage. Thank you. Antipasto. Antipasto. Can I have the definition, please? Sure. Any of various savory foods usually served as appetizers and hors d'oeuvre. Antipasto. Antipasto. A-N-T-I-P-A-S-T-O. Antipasto. Thank you. Mystique. Mystique. M-Y-S-T-I-Q-U-E. Mystique. Thank you. Kudzu. Can you repeat the word? Kudzu. Kudzu. K U D Z U. Kudzu. Thank you. I'm sorry. So this is uh, that she began round seven. We are the second speller into round seven. Eider down. Eider down. E I D E R D O W N. Eider down. Thank you. Carmine. Carmine. Um, language of origin. French word derived from a Latin word that was formed from a Latin element and an Arabic element. Um, could you use it in a sentence, please? Yolanda's father snidely remarked that her lipstick contained a little too much carmine. Carmine. C-A-R-M-I-N-E. Thank you. Amenable. Amenable? Amenable. Language of origin? French, which formed it from a Latin word. Amenable. A-M-E-E-N-A-B-L-E. -E -E. Amenable? I'm sorry. <laughs> Your word is tariff, and there is a pronouncer's note that this word could be confused with another word similar in sound and or spelling. The word we're seeking is a noun that is defined as the duty or rate of duty imposed by a government on imported or exported goods for the production of revenue for the artificial fostering of home industries or as a means of coercing foreign governments to grant reciprocity privileges. Tariff. Tariff. T-A-R-I-F-F. -F, tariff. Thank you. Wampum. 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 W-A-M-P-U-M. Wampum. Thank you. <laughs> Jeremiah, and there is a pronouncer's note here that this word could be confused with another word similar in sound and or spelling. The word we're seeking is a noun defined as a lamenting and denunciatory complaint, a tirade marked by deep misery. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. J E R E M I A D, Jeremiah. Thank you. And I missed another round there. <laughs> and I missed another round. That's round eight that just began. Protocol, and there is a pronouncer's note on this as well, that uh, it could be confused with another word similar in sound and or spelling. The word we're seeking is a noun defined as a rigid, long-established code prescribing complete deference to superior rank and strict adherence to due order of precedence and precisely correct procedure. Protocol. P-R-O-T-O-C-O-L. Protocol. Thank you. Cynical. Cynical. Could you give me the language of origin, please? A Greek word that went to Latin and then French plus an English combining form. Cynical. Um, could you give me the definition? Exhibiting feelings ranging from distru distrustful doubt to contemptuous and mocking disbelief. Could you use it in a sentence, please? After his experiences on the professional ice skating tour, Scott was cynical about show business. Cynical. C-Y-N-I-C-A-L. Thank you. Egalitarian. Egalitarian. May I have the language of origin, please? French, which formed it from a Latin word. 
May I have the definition, please? Marked by or adhering to a belief that all persons are equal in intrinsic worth and are entitled to equal access to the rights and privileges of their society. Egalitarian. Egalitarian. E-G-A-L-I-T-A-R-I-A-N. Egalitarian. Thank you. Rhetoric. Rhetoric. R-H-E-T-O-R-I-C. Rhetoric. Thank you. We begin round nine with Azure. Can you repeat the word? Azure. Azure. A-Z-U-R-E. Azure. Thank you. Fastidious. Fastidious. F-A-S-T-I-D-I-O-U-S. Fastidious. Thank you. Koan. Uh, could you repeat the word? Koan. Um, could you give me the definition, please? A paradox used in Zen Buddhism as an instrument of meditation and training monks to despair of an ultimate dependence upon reason and to force them into sudden intuitive enlightenment. Koan. Language of origin, please. Japanese. Um, K-O-A-N. Thanks. Parapet. 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 May I have the definition, please? A rampart raised upon or above the main wall in a permanent fortification. Parapet. Parapet. P-A-R-A-P-E-T. Parapet. Thank you. Notochord. 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 N-O-T-O-C-H-O-R-D. Notochord. Thank you. We begin round 10 with the word odyssey. Odyssey. O-D-Y-S-S-E-Y. Odyssey. Thank you. Peloton. Peloton. P-E-L-O-T-O-N. Peloton. Thank you. Troika. Troika. Um, language of origin, please. Russian. Um, could you give me a definition? A group of three. Um, could you use it in a sentence? Diplomats from the European Troika of Britain, France, and Germany will meet with Russian diplomats in Moscow. Troika. Troika. T-R-O-I-K-A. Thank you. Bellicose. 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 I have the definition, please. Warlike, aggressive, combative. Bellicose. B E L L I C O S E. Bellicose. Thank you. Saffron. Saffron. S A F F R O N. Saffron. Thank you. We begin round 11 with. Heifer. Heifer. H-E-I-F-E-R. Heifer. Thank you. Scampi. Scampi. S-C-A-M-P-I. Scampi. Thank you. Geranium. Geranium. Could you give me the language of origin? An originally uh, Greek word that passed into Latin. Um, could you use it in a sentence, please? Sure. One variety of geranium is also known as crane's bill because of the beak-shaped seed heads it produces. Geranium. Um, could you use it in a sentence? One variety of geranium is also known as crane's bill because of the beak-shaped seed head it produces. Geranium. G-E-R-A-N-I-U-M. Finesse. Finesse. May I may you use it in a sentence, please? Wayne plays basketball with a finesse that only players who have natural ability demonstrate. Finesse. F I N E S S E. Finesse. Thank you. Ah. 
muslin, and there is a pronouncer's note here that this word could be confused with another word similar in sound and or spelling. The word we're seeking is a noun defined as a plain woven cotton fabric that is used bleached or unbleached for sheeting, embroidery, or other purposes. Muslin. Muslin. M-U-S-L-I-N. Muslin. Thank you. This begins round 12 with the word hedonism. Hedonism. Can you repeat the word? Hedonism. Language of origin. Greek. Can you repeat the word again? Hedonism. H-E-D-O-N-I-S-M. Hedonism. Thank you. <laughs> Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. M-E-T-A-M-O-R-P-H-O-S-I-S. -S, metamorphosis. Thank you. <laughs> Perennial. Perennial. Um, language of origin, please. Latin. Um, could you um, use it in a sentence? The garden is bare of flowers because the perennial plants have been cut down for their winter rest. Definition, please. Continuing or lasting for several years, used specifically of a plant that dies back seasonally and produces new growth from a part that lives over from season to season. Perennial. Perennial. P-E-R-E-N-N-I-A-L. Thank you. Entourage. Entourage. May I have the definition, please? Sure. One's attendants or subordinates. Entourage. Entourage. E N T O U R A G E. Entourage. Thank you. Didactic. Didactic. D I D A C T I C. Didactic. Thanks. Round 13 begins with provolone. Provolone. P R O V O L O N E. Provolone. Thank you. Okay. Springbok. Springbok. S P R I N G B O K. Springbok. Thank you. Jiva. Jiva. Um, could you use it in a sentence, please? The Hindu explained that all beings possessed of jiva are of two kinds, those who can move and those who cannot. Jiva. Um, could you use it in a sentence, please? I just did. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, could you give me the definition? Hinduism, the vital energy of life. Jiva. J-I-V-A. Thanks. Nabob. Nabob. May I have the definition, please? A man of great wealth. May I have the language of origin? Originally Arabic, the word passed through Hindi before becoming English. Nabob. N A B O B, Nabob. Thank you. Kurama. Origin? Japanese. Kurama. K U R U M A. Thank you. The judges want to move forward to word 251. We're moving forward. And this is round 14, is it not? Is that correct? Correct? Yes. We begin round 14 with flabbergast. Flabbergast. Can you repeat the word? Flabbergast. Language of origin? Unknown. F L A B E R G A S T. 
I'm sorry. Ideogram. Ideogram. I D I O G R A M. Thank you. Did I miss one? Uh, the judges have corrected me that the uh, last speller was incorrect. Number six, I'm sorry. Quietive. Quietive. Um, could you give me the um, language of origin, please? Originally a Latin word, and the second part is an English combining form. Quietive. Um, could you use it in a sentence, please? Valerian is a mild herbal, herbal quietive and can be drunk as a tea at bedtime. Definition? Something that has a tranquilizing effect, a sedative. Quietive. Q. U I E T I V E. Thank you. Surgeon. Surgeon, may I have the definition, please? A specialist in a branch of medicine that is concerned with diseases and conditions requiring or amenable to operative or manual procedures. Surgeon. May I have the language of origin? From Greek to Latin to French to English. Surgeon. S-U-R-G-E-O-N, surgeon. Thank you. McCoy. Definition. The real or genuine thing, something that is neither an imitation nor an inferior substitute used with the definite article, McCoy. A uh, sin. Marla had no idea that her Lakota war bonnet was the McCoy until a guest expert on Antiques Roadshow said that it was authentic. Uh, origin? Scots, from a Scots name. McCoy. M-I-C-I-Y, McCoy. Sorry. So I think I'm around behind. This is 16. This is 15. Your word is ramshackle, and there is a pronouncer's note that this word could be confused with another word similar in sound and or spelling. The word we're seeking is an adjective defined as appearing as if ready to collapse, dilapidated, rickety. The word is ramshackle. Um, could you give me the language of origin? Old Norse that passed into English. Um, could you use it in a sentence, please? Bonnie heard strange noises coming from the ramshackle house next door. Ramshackle. R-A-M-S-H-A-C-K-L-E. Thank you. <laughs> Bounteous. May Bounteous. Have, may I have the definition, please? Sure. Liberally bestowed. Plentiful. May I have the language of origin, please? Latin-derived French. Bounteous, B-O-U-N-T-I-O-U-S, Bounteous. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, you need to stay with us for a moment, if you would, please, number 18. Caloricity. Caloricity. Um, could you use it in a sentence, please? Mm-hmm. Caloricity in animals is closely related to nourishment. Caloricity. Um, could you give me the language of origin? From Latin-derived French plus a French combining form. Caloricity. Caloricity. C-A-L-O-R-I-C-I-T-Y. Caloricity. And please stay with us for another word. Rationale. Rationale. Um, could you give me the language of origin? Latin. Um, could you um, use it in a sentence, please? Coralie could provide no rationale for her habitual tardiness. Rationale. Rationale. R-A-T-I-O-N-A-L. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't go too far. Yes, don't go. 
Under the rules, both uh, number seven and number 18 are still your finalists and still in contention to be the state champion. And you're back with the word portentous. Portentous. May I have the language of origin, please? Latin. Could you use it in a sentence, please? Oliver's dream proved portentous. May I have the definition, please? Of relating to or constituting something that foreshadows a coming event. Portentous. P O R T E N T I O U S. Portentous. I'm sorry. Chaplain. A chaplain? Um, could you give me the language of origin? French derived Latin. Um, could you use it in a sentence, please? Mm -hmm. The prison chaplain holds an ecumenical service every Sunday. Chaplain. Chaplain. C H A P L I N. I'm sorry. Expediency. Expediency. What is the language of origin? Latin. May I have the definition, please? The quality or state of being suited to the end in view. Suitability. Expediency. Could you use it in a sentence, please? The senator was accused of sacrificing principles for political expediency. Expediency. E-X-P-E-D-I-E-N-C-Y. Expediency. Thank you. <laughs> Nominative. Nominative. Correct. Nominative. Nominative. May I have the definition, please? Marking typically the subject of a verb used especially in the grammar of languages that have relatively full inflection. May I have the language of origin, please? Latin. Could you use it in a sentence, please? The nominative case of a noun designates the subject of a verb. Nominative. N O M I N A T I V E. Nominative. Have a good time in Washington. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. I believe Kevin Gilbert, president of the MAE and 2008 winner Shakika Everett will join us on stage now to award our champion. Let's give a big hand for all of our spellers. And let's give a big round of applause to the 2009 Mississippi State Spelling Bee Champion, Joseph Jackson. Jackson. All right. We'd also like to award our second place winner. Ms. Bailey Bullock. And our third place winner. Ms. Emily Turnage. Let's give another round of applause. Absolutely.
Well, congratulations to our 31 competitors and our top speller today, Joseph Jackson. It was really a job well done by everyone. Everyone is a winner who got to this level. Thank you for joining us in the audience live and uh, via the uh, broadcast services of uh, Mississippi Public Broadcasting. Maybe, who knows, one of you might be here with us next year. For the Mississippi Association of Educators, I'm Michael Rubenstein. Have a good day. We do have... Uh